Here's one of the more popular cars from the 80s. Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. I'd consider this car a survivor. Appears to have pretty much all its original paint. Uh, most of it's in very nice shape. This particular car has about 73,000 original miles on it. Powered by the 3.8 liter underneath the hood. Power steering, power brakes, AC. Air conditioning on this car does blow cold. Just a great looking car. Like I said, very popular car from the 80s. You can see how nice and straight this car is. Like I said, I'd call this car a survivor. There are some areas where a little bit of the paint's been touched up on some of the, the fascia, uh, hood. The paint's still in nice shape, especially if you consider mid-80s General Motors paint. We all know that it wasn't the greatest paint quality they had then. When I get around to the back, I'll show you a few spots it is flaking, but overall, nice, I mean, presentable car. Like I said, I'd consider this thing a survivor. Interior is original, also in very nice shape. And again, this is one of those burgundy color interiors. If you get back here, there's the color of the interior. Nice burgundy color. But if I get right up on top of it, depending on how the light is, it washes it out and makes it look kind of brownish. It is not. Take a look at the pictures. I have the flash on in the pictures, and it really does the interior a little more justice. I'll get around here. There's the true color of the interior right there as well as the carpeting and floor and everything. Nice burgundy interior. Got the partial burgundy vinyl top back here. Just great looking two door. Oldsmobile wire, wire wheel covers. Riding on the white walls, which is era correct. Looks good on this car. Now here's some of the spots. The trunk is probably the worst paint on it as far as the car goes. Here's a few spots where you can see it's flaking. I'm showing a little age in the back trunk deck, one spot right here, and then down kind of the top rear quarter here. That's really the worst as far as the paint goes. There's some spots along the sides and in the front, obviously, that have been touched up, but overall, once again, I call this a true Survivor 87 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme Brome. Check out the still pictures, underside of this car, very, very nice too, solid. Look at the floor pans, look at the frame, look at the shape that the underside's in. You can see the still pictures at uniqueclassiccars.com. And also, feel free to give us a call if you have any questions on this one, 507-386-1726. Again, very smooth running car, also we'll start it up seeing here at run here. AC does blow cold. We'll take a look at the engine compartment, nice and tidy, stock. Underneath there, just what you'd expect. Once again, you can see the door cards are original in it. And slip around here so you can see kind of the true color of the interior. There you go, right. Oh, it kind of washes out. This color is so tough. About well, right there, I would say, is the true burgundy color of the interior. If I get up closer, and depending on how the light is, it's going to kind of look like it's tan and brownish. Like that. But Carpeting's in good shape, floor mats in good shape, power windows, power locks, power seat, tilt cruise, air, all the goodies you would expect it in a Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme Brome from 87. Let's go ahead and fire this up. I don't think I need to do anything but turn the key. Hear how easily it starts, how smooth it runs. That light that you see was just a fastened seat belt indicator. AC is on right now too, but I just checked it before I did this. The door pins aren't bad. The door doesn't sag. See how nice that door shut. Slip around to the back. Doesn't smoke. No crazy exhaust, anything like that on it. You're going to hear that AC compressor kick off and up, on and off a little bit here. So I left it on for when we check out underneath the hoods. Swing around here. I'm going to pause it a second. And let's uh, check underneath that hood. All right, here you go. See the hood liners intact. Here's the engine bay. Nice shape. And like I said, you can hear that AC compressor click on and off. This here, remember that from the 80s? That would have been the smog pump. The belt has been disconnected from that. But as you can see, everything else, 
up and running smoothly and nicely underneath there. Here's your compressor kick on and off. Like I said, that AC does blow cold. Once again, check out the still pictures. See the trunk? The trunk is just like brand new. Spare tire in a spot, jack and everything. Underneath the car, check out the solid floor pans and frame. Interior is very nice shape. Check out those stills. UniqueClassicCars.com. Feel free to give us a call, 507 386 1726. Of course, we do consider trades. Financing is available. 1987 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme Brome. Original mile car. We consider this a nice survivor.